Hey YouTube, it's Jonathan, and today I'm taking you through my current skincare routine, both morning and evening. I have a ton of products to talk about. Um, my skincare routine is not exactly identical every single day, so uh, for some of my categories, I have options. So grab yourself a drink, sit back and relax, because I've got a lot to talk about. This video has been super requested. I get at least one comment, if not several comments, on every single video saying, hey, what do you do to your skin? How do you make your skin look like that? And half the answer is good lighting, but the other half of the answer is sitting here in my lap. So we're gonna go ahead and talk about all of these things. I thought it was only fair to talk about skincare if I didn't have any makeup on my face, so you can get a good idea of what my skincare routine does for me. I think it's doing pretty well. Uh, I'll let you be the judge. For reference, my skin is normal to dry, uh, maybe combination sometimes, but more on the normal side of things. Um, very sensitive. My skin gets red, my skin will break out easily if the products aren't right. Um, so go into this video knowing that about my skin. So we'll start with makeup removal and cleansing because that's sort of the first thing, first things first category of uh, skincare. So if I'm wearing makeup and I need to remove it before I go ahead and cleanse my skin, I have been using the Lancome Energy to V Cleansing Oil. You know, if you've watched my channel before, you've watched any of my skincare routine videos, I absolutely love cleansing oils. They're the best way to break up and remove makeup um, and to just give your skin an overall like once over before going in with an actual cleanser. Because if you've ever tried to just take makeup off with a cleanser, you know it doesn't quite always get everything off and you just don't get that full clean feeling. So cleansing oils are like my go-to makeup removal. I don't like wipes. I don't like um, like the pour out makeup removers that you kinda sweep on, like my cellar water I'm not a huge fan of. But cleansing oils, cleansing oils, cleansing oils. And I really like this one. It's really light and fresh smelling. There's no uh, greasy residue left over on the skin. I can cleanse my skin with this um, by itself if I'm just cleansing. Um, and I feel like it does a really good job. It has um, a lot of like plant extracts and like salicylic acid, so it just really brightens and refreshes the skin. I have two little cleansers to talk about. I keep these two next to my sink, and then I keep a big one of this guy in the shower. This is the Dermalogica Essential Cleansing Solution, and I got my boyfriend onto this, and I kinda started using his bottle of it. He has really dry skin, and I have pretty dry skin as well. Um, and the Essential Cleansing Solution is great. It's usually the cleanser that I grab for in the morning just because it is nice and hydrating, but light. It, it feels clean afterwards, but there's no bubbles, so you don't get that stripped feeling. None of these cleansers that I'm talking about today um, foam up or have any kind of bubble to them because I don't like that. It makes my skin feel really tight and dry. The other cleanser, this is usually my second cleanse at night. I'll go in with the oil to take the makeup off and I'll take this as my second cleanse. This is the Mario Badescu Enzyme Cleansing Gel. This is like an old favorite that I used to use, I don't know, maybe four or five years ago that I sort of rediscovered uh, recently. I bought this small size to take with me somewhere I was going and I just um, pulled it out of my drawer a couple of weeks ago and I really love it as my second cleanse in the evening. Again, no bubbles, no foam, so it's not stripping at all, especially after putting that hydration into the skin with the uh, cleansing oil, but because it has the papaya enzymes in it, it does kind of gently exfoliate the skin just ever so slightly, not enough that it would be like a dramatic exfoliation, but just enough to make the skin feel fresh and bright. When I really need to get in there and exfoliate, I have a firm favorite, I've talked about this plenty of times on my channel, this is the Dermalogica Daily Microfoliant, and don't let the word daily confuse you, I would never use this every single day. I use this probably two to three times a week and always before I shave my face. Um, so again, this is more of a morning time product for me because I tend to shave my face in the morning. So what I do is I cleanse, exfoliate, and then I shave. This is a rice-based powder that you pour dry into your hand. You add water and it kind of gets like milky and you scrub it on your face. It's not an abrasive scrub, it's a chemical-based exfoliant because it has rice enzymes and salicylic acid that really get in and take away any excess dead skin. It just brightens up. And if you are someone who shapes your face, it uh, really kind of lifts up the hair so that you get a smoother shave. I have a K-Beauty toner. This is the, I don't know if it's Aquel or Acewell or I don't know what it is, but this is the 5.5 Licorice pH Balancing Cleansing Toner. That's a mouthful. Um, and don't be put off by the word licorice in the title. It does not smell like licorice at all. Um, I just believe it is one of the main ingredients in the product. 
Um, what this does for me is at, in the nighttime, after I've cleansed, I've taken off all my makeup, um, I go in with this on a cotton round. I use the one that's bumpy because it has a little exfoliating things on it and just sweep over top just to make sure I get off everything. Um, it also is really great to kind of go in around the hairline because I use a product that my face skin doesn't like but my hair looks really good when I use it so I like to go around the hairline just to make sure that I get all of that away um, because I will get like little not breakouts I guess breakouts a little like clogged pores around the hairline from the product so this helps to clear out that but it also helps to keep my whole skin clear in general I learned about this product on Facebook I was reading an article one that kind of just popped up in one of the beauty groups that I'm in on Facebook and it just talked about how it was great for balancing pH balancing cleansing making sure that everything was gone but it's completely alcohol free so there's no dryness um, with this product and that's the big problem I have with cleansing toners I don't like alcohol in my toners because it kind of just makes me dry after this guy I usually just do this one in the evening time um, but after that one I will use an essence I have two options for this uh, the other one is nowhere to be found I think it's at my mom's house I must have left it there over Christmas um, the other one is actually called a toner but I use it like an essence it's the Lancome tonique Comfort. It's the pink one that's kind of milky. I use it, um, I like pour it in my hand and pat it on my face like an essence. So I, I would put that in the essence category. You could use it like a toner and pour it in a cotton ball and do it all that way. Um, but the essence I have here to talk about today, this I learned about in the same Facebook article about the toner. This is the Neogen Real Ferment Micro Essence. And this one, it has uh, Bafida Ferment Lysate in it, which is an ingredient I really like. It's in another product I'm going to talk about in a second. But it's really, really, really hydrating, and it really plumps up kind of fine lines, dehydration, some things that my skin like, tends to get in the wintertime. And I just pour, you know, a little bit into my hand, rub it together, pat it on until it's completely absorbed. And you can layer this up. You can put on two, three, four, sixteen 16 layers of this just to kind of really get hydration into the skin before you go on with your moisturizers. That being said, I usually only do it twice in the morning, maybe once at night. I have three products to talk about in the serum category. Serum is like my favorite, favorite uh, part of my skincare routine. I have three because I'm a hoarder and I'm obsessed and I can't pick one. I usually will layer two of these. I don't really ever put on all three. Sometimes I'll just use one, but usually Two of these will go onto my face at any given time. The first one is the Vichy Mineral 89, which is, they call it a moisturizer, but it's a serum. Um, if you read like the packaging on here, it says it can be used alone or as the first step to your moisture routine, which to me would call it a serum. So this one is like a hyaluronic acid like moisture shot to your skin. There's only like eight ingredients in it, but the water that they use in the Vichy line is supposed to have 89 different minerals in it so it's like a very low ingredient product which means you're getting a good concentration of each thing um, and it's like a gel texture can you see that flowing it's like a gel texture so i tend to put one pump of this in my hand rub them together and press it in while the essence is still kind of absorbing and I think that helps to draw in more of the moisture. One you know I've talked about time and time again, this is Lancome Advanced Genifique. This is the product that has the Bifida Ferment Lysate in it as well, which is why I knew I was going to like the essence. Um, and I'll use this pretty much in the same way that I use the Vichy Mineral 89. Um, I just put one dropper full of this into my hands, rub them together and press it onto my skin and neck um, and let that absorb. And I use this one more in the morning time because it makes the skin more glowy um, and the other one is more just hydrating. This one's also a bit more anti-aging, kind of age preventative. It provides radiance and it kind of fights all the fine lines and whatnot as well. My last one in the serum category is the Double Serum from Clarins. I think I've talked about this at least once before on my channel. This is my second bottle of this guy. I absolutely love this, especially in the winter when my skin just needs that extra boost of moisture. I tend to use this one as my second serum in the evening time for sure, sometimes in the morning if I need that extra bit of moisture. But this one is, again, also very anti-aging. Um, one thing that I love that this does, it has turmeric in it, which is um, anti-inflammatory. And my skin is super sensitive, so it gets very red, especially when 
I'm kind of rubbing on it and touching on it, especially after I exfoliate and shave and all of that. So I will always put this on after exfoliating or shaving or both um, because it just helps to calm down the redness and deeply hydrate. They call it double serum because it's two different serums in one bottle, but they squirt out together. In the tube in the middle, I believe there's like a water-based product that is more um, hydrating. And then on the outside, there's an oil-based serum, which is more moisturizing, hydration water, moisture oil. So typically, if I use this one, I won't follow with an oil, but if I haven't used that one, I go back to my Tarte Maracuja oil, and I have this cute little mini one right now. Um, and I just use three or four drops of this on my skin just to get more hydration into it. I know I'm so weird. I have so many different options and I like to mix and match and tends to be better for my skin um, to kind of mix it up every so often. If I go too hard with one you know, stringent routine, my skin kind of gets bored. So I like to keep it spicy, uh, kind of mix it up. So after serums, oils, whatnot, I will go in with my eye cream. I do that before my moisturizer because I really want it to absorb in that eye area first. And I, right now, I'm using a little sample size. Wow, I have so many travels and sample sizes. This is the Lancome Renergy Eye, which is for lifting and firming, which I know I don't really have a whole bunch of that to do yet, but it also has like this pinky, pearlescent kind of color to it. And so when I pop that on, it just brightens up my under eyes. It's also super rich and thick, so it gives me a ton of moisture in the eye area, which I need. I also like to bring it out onto this kind of area of my face um, because that's where I smile and that's where I know I'm going to get lines in the future so it kind of prevents that but it also really hydrates that area which is an area that tends to get really dry on me in the winter when the wind is blowing. As for moisturizers, I've got three to talk about. Um, one is pretty new, I talked about it in my last video and that is the Paracone MD Face Finishing Moisturizer Tint SPF 30. This has been my day cream since I bought it a couple of weeks ago. I just apply this, you know, forehead to chest um, and kind of on the back of my neck and on my ears as well because of the sunscreen. I want to kind of protect everything. Um, and it also has a little bit of a tint to it, which makes me just look a little bit more bronzed and glowy. It's not a big contrast. Um, it just makes my skin look a little bit healthier. I really, really, really like this product. Um, again, it's new to me, but I think I've been using it long enough to safely say it has not broken me out at all. I love this so much that I already bought a backup. Think about that. I love the smell of this product too. It just smells like light, fresh roses, and rose is one of my favorite scents. I think I've talked about that before, but it's just nice, light, and refreshing to put on, but that scent goes away, so it's not gonna linger. None of the products that I use, they all have you know their own individual smells, but none of them sort of linger on the face, so if you are sensitive to smells, don't feel worried. And also, my skin is extremely sensitive, and all of these products work well for me. And then my nighttime moisturizer is the Lancome Hydrazen. I love this stuff. This, for a while, was my day and night, which is why I'm on my third jar of it, but it just smells so good. It's called an anti-stress moisturizing cream. Doesn't that just sound lovely? And the smell of this truly does reduce my stress level. I put this on my hands, I rub them together, I hold it on my face and just breathe in. And let the day go away, and then I apply it to my face. It also is just really, really hydrating. It is a on the thicker side. They do a gel version as well if you don't need as much hydration on your skin. Um, I won't say it's particularly anti-aging, but it's more of a hydrating age preventative rather than like, uh, you know, peptides and retinol and all of that junk. I don't think I need all of that just yet. Um, and then when I was using that as my day cream as well, I would layer on top of it the Drunk Elephant Umbra Sheer Physical Daily Defense SPF 30, which I really, really, really like. Um, I'm going to be saving this now. I have about half the bottle left for like my beach trip, spring, whatnot, um, times when I just need to be reapplying sunscreen all the time. I like it because it's like kind of squishy and portable, um, and it doesn't like, I mean it's a sunscreen so it's kind of thick, um, but it's, it's a physical, so I can't really use chemical sunscreen much because it will tend to break me out, especially kind of like on the temples and cheek area. But that one is really nice because it doesn't break me out at all. It does go on a little bit thick, but once it kind of melts and absorbs into your skin, it's not kind of 
you know, some sunscreens kind of feel a little bit weird. Doesn't do that at all. Um, I also, again, will take that on the back of my neck, my chest, my ears, back of my hands, anywhere that's gonna be showing, getting sun in the daytime. And what else can I say? Sunscreen, it's important. Please wear SPF 30 at least every day. So that's pretty much everything. The only category I don't have here in my lap is like masks and treatment things like that that I only do once or twice a week. And that is because that is a whole separate topic. Um, and I have tons. So keep it with the daily basics. Um, I hope that you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment below if you have any questions about the products that I use, um, if you have any suggestions for products you think I might like, um, and if you have any suggestions for videos you might like to see. Um, and I will try to link everything in the comment or in the description box below so that you can check them all out for yourselves as well. If you're not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe now, and I will see you all next time. Bye!